I don't believe anyone would claim that I've ever been cruel or unkind. That is a fact. The first thing they look for is a scapegoat. And having found one, they'll do it. It used to be witch burning, it used to be witch dipping, it used to be McCarthyites hunting communists, Jews in, in, in Nazi Germany. Among papers seized from his house was a receipt for a lockup at this warehouse. The detectives believe that Levine has his collection hidden here. Julian Levine eventually arrives at the warehouse and his car is loaded with black bin liners full of personal property. He is immediately arrested and asked about the lockup. There isn't anything illegal in there. Right. You know, that's a fact. Why do nine-year-old boys assault grown women? and mutilation. No, you can't get involved in that. The murder guy's shitbag media. Brain robbers, great brain robbers. I'll give you two minutes. I'll give you two minutes. you investigate child torture. It's illegal in Britain since 1985. Have you made any investigation of this at all? Or are you only interested in alleged touching from... 20 or 30 years ago. Do you have a sexual preference for young girls? No, no. You know, you're virtually asking me, am I a child killer? I don't believe anyone would claim that I've ever been cruel or unkind. That is a fact. The only thing that he needs to know is that every time I saw him or every time he touched me, I hated him a little bit more. I never enjoyed what he did to me, but I loved him, and he abused that. He ruined every ounce of trust and love that I could ever have. The first time I met Julian, we went out for a car ride, just me and Julian to get to know each other. We went to the little swing park, and there was two little girls sitting there, playing. Julian went and sat on the roundabout. Two little girls came over and started talking to me. Before I knew it, Julian had one of them on his knee with his hands down her knickers. Julian liked to penetrate little girls. He really did. He loved to take pictures of children in compromising positions. Put his penis in your mouth, let's get a picture of it. So he took a photo of me. Yeah. And then he passed me the camera. So you're now up in the tree. Yeah. Looking and he's down at him. Looking down at him and he's crouching down, sort of bending down. Yeah. He tries around his ankles and he said, right, take a photo of me. Right. And can you remember, was his penis erect or not? Yeah, it was. Uh-huh. The detectives need to build a bigger case against Levine. If you All want right. to cry, have a cry. Don't worry about it. Don't think, I'm holding back, I'm holding back because my sister and you've got two policemen sitting here. If you want to cry, darling, have a cry. There were no further allegations against Levine from the victims of the telephone calls. That is a fact. Fact. That's a fact. All fact. That's a fact. Fact. All fact. Just fact. Fact. Just fact. All fact. 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 All fact. That's a fact. That is a fact. Fact. That's a fact. All fact. Just fact. Just fact. That is a fact. Fact. All fact. Fact. All fact. That is a fact. That's a fact. Fact. All fact. Fact. Just fact. All fact. That's a fact. That is a fact. 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 As usual, Levine is defiant in his belief that people like him are victims of public ignorance and persecution by the media. Were you supposed to be at work today? No, I'm unemployed. Cut. We weren't allowed to sort of go to the park, this, that and the other, and we were always told, watch that man at the top of the road.